everybody, you're watching The Screw with Felicia Rose. Today I have a special guest, Steve Mack. He's been a wrestler for a very long time and he's here to talk about all sorts of fun things like sex and wrestling. And I'm gonna try to guess some stuff that I probably don't know the answers of and you guys get to probably watch me come on camera. Yay, stick around. I feel so special and privileged Aww. today. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you notice, we're nice and snuggled up on the couch together because we're good buds. We're buds like that, bro. And he's kind of like my dad, but we discuss it's probably <laughs> weird to say. <laughs> You, meaning, let me just give a little backstory before I even ask you who the fuck you are. Let me say who I think you are. You've been somebody who's always been very um, sweet to me, helpful, and you've always had my back and like looked out for me. And in the wrestling world, that's hard to come by, especially with um, you know keeping appearances. And you, you know, people care about the way that they look to certain people, and it's stupid. And because of that. Obviously, um, not a lot of people have like stuck around, and you always have. So thank you for that. And I don't think I've ever like tried to like hit on you or anything. I've always been cool, right? Even if you did, that doesn't yeah, matter. But still, like, that's no, but that is, me, it like, is it is a nice check mark in my yeah. head. I didn't want to bring that up because I don't want people to feel like they can't hit on me, and then we can't have like no, a no, 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 of course, of course, of course. But it is a nice kind of out of like the three vigilion, you're one of the four that has it hit on me. So thank you, I appreciate that, honesty. No, you know what it is like. Um, because I always and why haven't you? You don't know. I'm just kidding. It's fine. It's I would, fine. but you know, you always take it. Um, but uh, <laughs> not true. Not motherfucking true. <laughs> no, it's not taken true. till recently. True, Thank you. True. But with me, like, <clears throat> I have a lot of people that I'm always that are always looking up to me, and I always want to set a good example. And like, I'm pretty sure a lot of them are gonna be like, so then why are you on this show right now? <laughs> but. That's because we are mad chill. Well, I mean, and being sex positive comes yeah. in many forms, yep. and you being willing to be on the show, I appreciate just because mm -hmm. I know you're going to get flack for it. Yeah. But it's all right. Listen, when you've done all the stuff that I've done, it's kind of like. <laughs> it's kind of like. You Tell know, you me, don't Daddy, really... what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there was that time in Japan. Uh, no, but, you know, like, I don't really. I'm at a point now in my career where I don't really care too much about what people think of me. Uh, I've never really cared. Yeah. You know, I've always been kind of like just, if you matter to me, then I'll care. Can I ask you a question? And this is like totally off topic of what I wanted to go into, but why do you think, is there a certain point where you stopped caring? Or do you think that that's just something that you sort of always took pride in? Like you're like, nah, fuck this, I'm not going to care. And is there any advice you have for people out there that want to be more like that? Because, you know, I can give that advice to a female, but maybe not really a male, so... Especially not a wrestler, obviously. Yeah, no, it's hard. It, uh, it, it's like, in the beginning of my wrestling career, I, and, you know, just being a human being in general, I've always worried about what other people thought of me and what other people said. But once I got to a point where I realized, like, I've done more than 90% of the locker room that I'm in, no matter what, what locker room I'm in, mm -hmm. once I realized that, and then I was just like, why do I care what any of these guys think of me in a certain way as far as like, you know. So are you saying that you have to have success though? Well, for like, me, that's what it was. That's what it oh, came so that, to. Oh, so that was, that was the pivotal me. point for, for you. Me, yes, but you're not saying for other people. For other people, it's really. Have, you don't need to hit a certain mark to. No, you got to have that confidence. Yourself. If yeah. you have confidence, then it doesn't matter what anybody thinks of you, what anybody says, because as long as you're doing what's right and healthy for you and not hurting anybody else. That's where confidence comes that's from. That's all that matters. Once you know who you are and you do what you need to be doing for yourself, that's yeah. what confidence is. I've always seen you as someone who's confident. I know you have your moments where you break down because I see it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Stop telling people so much. <laughs> but I've always seen you as someone who's confident. And My thing is that I like to be able to show other women that just because I am this confident, badass, you know, suck on my tits and call me Sally kind of bitch, I'm also willing to show that I have that other side and that people do upset me and that they do get to me and that out of the 8 million awful, terrible messages I receive a day, once in a while, one of them strikes a chord. And I like to put it out there so the other women know, like, hey, I can complain about this online and, and get a little support from some friends or, you know, once in a while send the boys after them if it's really bad, if, if I think that it warrants that. And that's sort of why I do it, is to show, like, no, you don't have to put on this face all the time of, like, I don't cry. No, I cry. I cry all the motherfucking time. I'm scared for my life sometimes because of crazy motherfuckers out there. I'm going to tell people that, and that's okay, you know? And I think everybody should be allowed to, like, you know. But I get I get what you're saying with the whole, like, you know, confidence is important and putting that mm -hmm. out there is important. But on my side, I like to make sure that people understand that. It doesn't mean you're not confident just because you have mm -hmm. those moments, you yeah. know? And, like, 
like everybody else, I have my moments where I have a lot of self doubt and a lot of why didn't this happen? Why didn't why did that happen to someone else instead of me? But then like deep down I'm always able to tell myself, well, it wasn't meant for me at that time. Right. And like I have that rationale going on all the time. Mm -hmm. And like I mean, we've talked a few times online and you know, just in general, you see like I'm always looking at things from the big picture angle and I try to see how it's going to affect everybody and yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like whenever I give like advice to anybody, I'm always talking like how's it going to affect you, but how's it going to affect the people around you and is it going to cost you money? Is it going to get you money? You know what I mean? Like, I'm always thinking like that. You're going to go to court for it. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. Trust me, I want to punch a Can I curse? Yeah. All right. I want to punch a motherfucker in the fucking face in the worst fucking way. But <laughs> I restrain myself. You yeah. know what I mean? I have a lot of motherfuckers that I want to punch. And I, I think the whole getting in trouble thing, a lot of times people forget that, like, getting being online, you can get in trouble. Oh, like, easy. It doesn't have to be just a physical thing. Yeah, yes. And you could say... PSA out there. I'm saying well, if we're going to talk about online shit, flirting online, you could just say, just by saying hello, a woman could take it the wrong way if she doesn't like you, or she could, because she doesn't like you, she could say, well, you know, this motherfucker said hello to me in a certain fucking tone. It's well, like, it goes, it goes both ways, too, and then there's people like me who, you know, I feel like I'm sort of an open forum for men to sort of come to me, and they can be a little more on the piggish side, and sometimes they're a little, they cross the mm -hmm. line, and, and I feel like everybody knows which ones that cross the line, mm -hmm. but, you know, and then once in a while, somebody's, you know, like, wife will hit me up and be like, yo, I have, I'm extremely mm -hmm. upset that my dude's following you, I'm like, I feel you, dude, I don't know, maybe if I, if I didn't have the, rela the kind of relationship and, like, love in my relationship that I did have, maybe I would have a problem with that person following a me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can't say I wouldn't, so I get it. But in both aspects, like, it comes from every angle, you know what I mean? It's like, you, you can't ever do right in this world. It's, yeah. just, you're it's, doing it's hard for men and women. I mean, for men it's right. a different thing, for women it's a totally different thing. But you always have to watch yourself and watch how you put yourself out because sometimes they, so like, they'll see the character and they'll think that that's how you are all the time. Wait, what character? You know what I'm saying. They'll see the character of Steve Mack, Monster Mack, and they'll think he's like that all the time, but in reality, you know, like, I just, you, you know, I like my video games, I like my porn, and I just like to chill. You know what I mean? I like being home. I really don't hang out at clubs and shit like that. Like, that was never my style. Yeah. But I'm different from everybody else. Everybody has their own little thing. And, see, I um, think the difference is that I'm not a worker in, that, in the way that people say that I'm a worker. But you know what I mean. I'm not actually yeah. a worker, and at the end of the day, there isn't a separation. So you can go home and not be Monster Mac. I don't go home and not be Felicia Rose. Mm -hmm. So that's why sometimes you do get the tweets where yeah. I'm crying and being a little baby, mm -hmm. and according to me, you know. Um, whereas with you, you know, there's a way to shut that off and separate the two, you know. And lucky you. I try. Listen, I mean, it would be nice. Though. It would be nice to not be this, you know, raging hoe that I am. <laughs> Listen, I wish I could be a fucking hoe. If I, if I was a woman, let me just tell you right now, I I'm looking right at the studies. camera. I would, if I lived in the 70s, I would have died of an overdose or fucking AIDS. Let me just tell you. But if I was a woman, I would definitely run the world because I would suck my way to the top and not even yeah. feel bad about it. Not because I like cock. As a guy, I love pussy. I didn't even think about cock. I love pussy. But what I'm saying is if I was a woman, I would have no problem. Like, if there was a way for a guy to eat pussy and get to the top... See, I don't that. even have to suck a dick. I can just, you know, take a pick. I gotta eat the vag, because I'm looking at me. I'm a chubby dude. I'm cute and shit. I like to eat vagina. But I'm just saying, I well. love the vag. Well, I guess vagina is a stupid way of saying it. I like to eat pussy. I do, too. It's, it, but it's delicious. When it's something, when you're motivated... You don't even give a fuck how it tastes. You're just like, I gotta get whatever the fuck it is. Oh, I mean, it, <laughs> the thing is, is even when it tastes for us, see, I'm a woman, and I know that there's all those days of the week, like, you know, Monday at 12 p.m., my vagina slash vulva tastes like candy, and then by 3 p.m. after a long, brisk walk, I'm fucking, you know. <laughs> it smells like cigarettes and lettuce. Yeah, like, it smells like the weed I just smoked. It's something weird yeah, like that. You know what I mean? So, like, I get that. So, I'm all about, like, give it all to me. I don't care. Mm -hmm. And then if it's extra super bad, then we have an issue, obviously, yeah, to talk about. Course, but other than that, like, no, <laughs> just throw it on me all the time. I haven't had sex with a female in a very long time, so obviously I'm craving that, as you can tell. Because I'm just like, just throw it on my face. Just just throw, uh, all over. Please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please. Yeah, see, I, I don't, <laughs> I do. this, this little visual is very nice. Trust me, I get it. 
I have all these questions I'm supposed to ask you, but mm -hmm. fucking whatever. How long have you been wrestling for? For the people that don't know you out there. So this February seventh, uh, I believe it is. I always get it confused by the second you know or seventh. You know the date. Yeah. yeah I know. My heart. That's adorable. <laughs> um, I started wrestling in two. Uh, I'm sorry, 1997. So 21 years this February, this past February. Yeah. Um, me and uh, my cousin Loki, we started the same exact day. You know, to go. I had a friend, uh, little like Louis Ramos, who's like a New York legend when it comes to hardcore wrestling. Um, him and Mace from the Christopher Street Connection, we were all boys, we went to high school together. And they had a gym in Brooklyn, uh, not too far from here actually, like really? 15 minutes away. Nice. And uh, we all would go there and we didn't know shit. And we were just killing each other. And <laughs> But like <laughs> me and Key, we were always on a different level. Like those guys, not those guys, because there was a lot of guys from that camp that were, ended up doing stuff in the business. Mm -hmm. But um, me and Key stood out right away. And Homicide and um, uh, the other trainer, Lathan, took us under their wing real quick. And from that point on, it was like it was like a jetpack. Legit, we just and you know, it's been a wild ride. You know, like. 21 years of fucking the most insane memories. And you're still wrestling life. now. Yeah, I still do it. Um, what do you I'm mean, yeah? Down. I'm slowing yeah. down. I'm slowing down. I'm getting old. You know what I mean? Like, let me tell you, when I get up off this couch after we're done, I'm going to sound like someone banging a drum because everything's going to crack. You are me. only eight years older than I am. Don't want to say that. That makes me feel terribly old. I'm two weeks of turning 39. So? It hurts. I don't want to be 40. That's a nice age. I like being a kid. I have a lot of friends that are 39 and I enjoy all of them really? thoroughly. Oh. It's a good age. I, I hope so. I mean, 38. And you made it past the year that Jesus died. Like, you're yeah. doing fine. <laughs> doing fucking fine. You got all this awesomeness coming my way about my age. I'm oh, still yeah. Like... No, I mean, when I turned 30, I was so dry. I was like, now I can tell people I know shit. And they, they're dumb. That's not true. I don't know anything more than I did yesterday, but yeah, fuck that. Actually, when I turned 30, it was the worst shit. So like I had this nice full head of hair. It was beautiful, right? It was nice. And beautiful. Hair. Beautiful. Maybe we'll and throw then, a photo up because we have to I'll see a photo. It too. <laughs> so like, and then like literally within the first month, all this started falling out. Back here started falling out. I started like going right deaf. At 30? Yeah, right when I hit thirty, I started going blind in my eye. Like it was a hot fucking mess. And then like around, I'm laughing so hysterically. That's all right. Like, it's ah! funny to me. It's funny. But the worst was when I turned thirty-two. This is where, mom, if you're watching, don't watch anymore. Turn it off. Mom, don't watch anyways. Oh. My mom's cool. Actually. Oh, okay. She's fucking, My she's... mom's watching. Hey, mommy. <laughs> my mom, like, because of my mom, like, I got to understand the gay culture and gay people because of her. Cause she was oh, always... that's awesome. So, like, I got to learn that and respect them more. Um, but at 32, I got my first grade all hair. And I legit thought, <laughs> I thought I was done. Like, I was, oh, no, my sexual career is over. And I was so, and like, I pulled it out and I told my wife, I was like, look, what, what the fuck? Like, you thought that yeah, that was like, your dick? Yeah, I was like, like yeah. my dick's getting mad old. It's, it's fucking like done, bro. It's fucking done. I can't. But yeah, so, like, <laughs> so like I, ha was, I have like the white stripe in my hair. I'm hoping that I get one in my actual. You want to like, look like the mother from Poltergeist? Yeah, like, I. <laughs> That was quick. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm good like that. But no, really, that I I thought that would be cool, but like a cool like stripe that you know so it's like, like white hair. hair. Like, what's it going on? But just just like you know everything else is like jet black like mm -hmm. my hair, and then this is like a stripe. stripe. Yeah, because I have like the little rogue pussy. Yeah, I would love that. That'd be cool. I mean, yeah, I mean that's something. Like, See, but you have to embrace have to those things. Like, yeah. you can't well, so like that was the only one. Though. Actually, no, I had one more. But both of them got pulled out right away, and I was just like, "And you never looked Whoa. back." <laughs> Thank God, you know what I mean? Dodge a bullet there. But you know, like then there's times where I'm like, I really just I'm like, I can't wake up. I'm so tired. I'm so beat. It's 20 years of doing like we wrestle physical style. We started Ring of Honor for a reason because mm -hmm. we were beating the shit out of everybody mm -hmm. and getting the shit beat out of us. I mean, the hit squad. Like exactly, that. exactly. Well, well, I'm, we're definitely gonna throw a clip. This is probably a good time to show <laughs> just a little bit of like how he likes to murder, Scotch. like literally murder. I throw people humans. in the walls. Um, it's like scary. scary. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh, shit. Oh, Watch out for that projector. Oh my god. It's not scary though. It's no, just, I know. I'm just saying, it's like, like you know, for a casual 
fan oh, yeah. or not even a Definitely. fan yeah. watching that, yeah. that's like, oh shit, that's legit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people because like I work at a very you ain't doing flippity doo dahs up there. You oh, know no, what no, I, mean? no. <laughs> I work at a very conservative place, and it's like when they find out because there's people who see me and they're like, oh shit, and I'm just like, but you know, like the people that I'm cool with at work, I'll show them something. They're like, I've never seen anything like that in my life. And I'm just like, I mean, the guy was all right. He lived. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he was cool. It's you know high. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Every day. Yeah, so, you know, but, um, like, I'm always trying to, like, downplay my shit at work. Um, in reality, like, I really don't feel like I'm anything special because, like, all my boys got TV contracts. They work major pay-per-views. And, like, all I did was I've been all over the country a couple of times and, like, Russell International once or twice. No, but oh, compared to, it. but listen, that's when you it. compare it to like going to TNA and Impact or whatever the fuck you want. Well, to I know it, a WWE. lot of wrestlers that are in the Indies that look up to you significantly, whether they're in your age range or younger, or older. In fact, so the fact that you know you can downplay it, but I feel like everybody else out there, they, we know your worth, and you know. Uh, I thank you. I appreciate it. But you are me, special just, to me. <laughs> yeah, you're my sunshine. Aww, honey. But <laughs> no, but like I really don't feel like I'm. Sometimes I feel like I can't give people advice because I've had it told to me. You don't know what it's like. You haven't been to the show. And I'm like, all right, well, but, like, I do know because, like, I have a lot of people that are up there now and have been there. In the I but mean, like, you, you've you run know. with some successful yeah. people. You've been successful in your own right. Like, yeah. you definitely know what you're doing, you know. Yeah. Just love that. yeah. But, you know, like, but, like, then I do really feel like sometimes I'm, like, like, sometimes I'll have that ego, like, yeah, I started fucking Ring of Honor. And then I'm, like... Uh, but I don't know what it's like to be backstage to have catering at Madison Square Garden, and that's all I want to do. Like, I have guys there now that they're like, next time I'm in MSG, we're going. Like, I got you. You're going to eat catering. Because, like, I tell them, like, I don't want a dark match. I don't catering. Yeah, it's just like one of those little things yeah. I never got. Yeah. Although, there is somebody, I'm not going to mention names, fucker, who steals that line. I've been saying that for, like, the last 10 years, because I have a lot of guys, you know, that went to WWE that I did stuff with. I'm like, dude, all I care about They'll hook it up with a match, give me catering and Madison Square Garden. The motherfucker telling people, well, you know, all I want is catering and Madison Square Garden. And I'm like, I don't know who you're talking about. But no, you do know. You do know because oh, no. we had the conversation about it the other day. <clears throat> oh. But yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can't comment. No. But, um, but, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, yeah, cool. fuck that shit. I didn't need that info. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> no, um, you know what it is? I'm, I'm very much into the bigger girls, the BB dubs. Yeah. Good BBW. Yeah. Oh, my chubby snowflakes. I love Aww, them all. Chubby snowflakes. I love oh, that. Yes. Wait, while we're on this sort of topic, well, no, actually, this is deviating, but I do want to talk to you about your <laughs> your experience with inter intergender matches mm -hmm. and if you ever found them to be sexual at all, because you are a boob guy, so like you know, there's a little some boob touching going on in a little bit, stuff. a little bit. But you know, my problem is the your problem. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two or three intergender matches that I've been in mm -hmm. were with girls who have no boobs. Penelope Ford is the latest one, and that was last year. It was me and Moff against uh, Penelope and uh, Janella. And so you're saying if they had boobs, it would be more sexual. For me, match. yes. If yes. You're my personal, yeah, I would see the sexual quality in that match. Understood. Um, However, Penelope Ford, have you seen her? She's gorgeous. I actually she was going to say she has really nice... Very beautiful. She's hot. Yeah, she's yeah. very... She's one of those, like, when you she's, watch a she's movie... She's super athletic. Yeah. So, like, truth zone, I had beef with Janela mm -hmm. back in the day. Yeah, just for Just for, for a dumb tweet. And then, like, there was other shit that got involved mm -hmm. that then, like, blew up. Anyways, it's all squashed now. And so, like... Because of that, I feel like I automatically had beef with her, even though obviously that's just yeah. guilty by association. Mm -hmm. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. But that's why I've like never even said hello to her. But, yo, she's... she's I would love to tell her, if you're ever watching, you're absolutely gorgeous. Like, keep doing what you do. Me, no, no, no. I'm just <laughs> no, saying, like, she's, she's you know, cool. like, girl she's power cool. to her. Like, yeah. I've never given her props directly. But she is a babe. But, absolutely. like, she's, like, when you and watch her... And she's a great wrestler. And, like, I don't, I don't I don't like to sexualize the wrestler, like, female wrestlers mm -hmm. at all. Because of the whole, you know, I like to just try to keep it to the men. But with her, honestly, like, I can, I see both aspects. Mm -hmm. Just because she's so, like, I don't know. There's something. She's going to be in WWE sooner. I probably. literally see yeah. that. I yeah. see her. I, I told signed. her a bunch of times, like, just keep your nose clean because you're going to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just try well, to stay injury free. That's, that's great advice. She, she always makes me think of a 1980s movie where, like, they have the dream girl, like, well, yeah, 
and she Fast has times. the blonde hair. Yeah, it's like, just a but, classic look. Yeah, yeah. She's, yeah, but in person, she's such a sweet girl. Mm-hmm. She's a lot of fun. She's, but like when we're wrestling, we're getting ready for the match, and I can tell she's nervous, and I'm just trying to tell her like, don't worry about it. Just look at me and talk to me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, well, see, the thing is like, Moff can be intimidating because Moff is a big fighter. Yeah. You see, he's fucking. He looks like yeah. a bull. One time, he, one time, uh, my partner was wrestling him, and afterwards he came up and like he was walking by my room. <laughs> excuse me, my roommate and I, and, and she looked up and she was like, holy shit! And like, jumped, because he was just standing there, like, looking uh-huh. past us. But she just looked yeah, he's just, if, you, if you're I'm not like, prepared, what a fucking reaction? Yeah, he's oh gonna fucking God. scare the shit out of you. I could have fucking died. Her reaction was, because she literally was, I think she also, for like a split second, thought she, he was someone else. Mm. So it was a, like a, I'm scared of this human, mm-hmm. and also, but like, but she looked like her, she was like, holy shit! And I was like, <laughs> fucking die. Anyway, sorry. Well, yeah, like, like, I love that. That was my she, favorite. She she was cool. She was very calm. And for someone her age and a female with two guys like us, it's very easy to lose your guys shit. Like us? You guys like us? <laughs> you know, but it's very easy to lose your shit and mm-hmm. be you know not be calm and be fucking panic attack or whatever. She well, she's, was cool. she's like a, she comes from like a gymnast background, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So she's probably yeah. under. She's probably been under pressure. Yeah, yeah, knows, yeah. Like, she, but you know, it's still it's still a little. You got to be worried because. Listen, if Moff wants to fucking chuck you across the ring and out, he can. The same yeah. with me. You know what I mean? Like, and if you don't know, I mean, she knew us because we were doing shows for a long time, but if she really doesn't know us like that, you know? And it's like. The I, trust wasn't established. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, then she saw Janela was cool with us, and she was like, all right, she was relaxing a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. And, we were, and we were breaking things down to her to where she could understand why we were doing whatever. And how we were gonna do whatever, and then it eased her mind. You know what I mean? So uh, I have a question that came in from the fans. Oh shit! <laughs> I can't even. Um, <laughs> hold on, I need to actually read it. Oh yeah, have you ever seen Rob Fury's dick? I have not seen Rob Fury's dick. Uh, um, blah, blah, I've seen blah, blah. him in underwear, but I have not seen the cock. He wanted to say hello, and then he loves you. Thank and you. He wanted to make it extra awkward for when you guys work together in the next few weeks. Yeah, see, I told you. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Listen, you I can handle a lot of shit. I don't seen, care about nothing like that. <laughs> I've seen all kinds of crazy cats in the fucking locker room. Actually, actually that was one of my other questions. What's the biggest dick, if you're allowed to admit, what's the biggest dick you've seen in the locker room? Can you say who? I I for won't us say. To bring rats on there. I, <laughs> I won't say who's the biggest by name. Oh, I actually mentioned to you one time who I thought was the biggest a long time ago. And let's just say that... I, I don't mean dick hat, I mean cock. Like, I mean, like, physical. His shit was like a baby arm. Do you remember me giving you that yeah, description? Maybe. Well, well, why no, no, no. Just say but, it? no. How do you? Why, why can't you say it? Because then it's gonna be like, well, Steve, because he does know me, and he fucking. You ain't watching me. this Hell, shit. Listen, say it just to see. <laughs> say it just to see if he's no, watching this. I'm not gonna say it. Say it. But just was, say it. He was he was walking around Can the locker room. No, you? no, don't say it. He was walking I'll around. I'll give you a hint. Very well connected to yes. my name. But he was walking around the locker room, and his shit was just flopping. And it was me and one of the guys, actually, one of the tag team guys. All right, well, since we're not even saying his name, I'll say, it like, I have a nude, and yeah, so confirmed. It's but we're not saying his name. But, like, it's, like, it legit, it's like. It's big. It's really not. No, no, no. In person, it's That's scary. It's like a fucking and billy the, club. the, the proportion. <laughs> well, I'm sure, because he's a smaller guy. <laughs> Billy, come on! It was. I thought he was gonna beat somebody with it because all he has to do is whip it, and it's like. I don't know. The dick I have now is bigger, so. Put all it right. That well, way. but listen, you know. It's like all I'm like, saying is. Unfriendly. So and then there's there's but like it's weird. The dick I have now. Yeah, the dick you have now is bigger than mine. Like, God, he's sensitive. sensitive. But what I was gonna say was, he's sensitive. I if you look at pictures. Who's gonna hate me because I said this? Oh my god! Please just say it. <laughs> yeah. Loki's cock is like horse-like, but 
I've never actually. That's I've never had. looked. I've seen it. Yeah, fuck. I've seen it. I've never but seen no, it his in shit, real life. Like in tights, you could see in the trunks. Like it fucking like rainbows across his yeah. leg, and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, that's why I'm saying the other one that we were talking about earlier is nowhere near that size. No, when I saw it, it scared me. Like, because I turned and it was like, <gasps> oh my god. Maybe because it's uncut. Because he's so small. Oh, so, so, right. so it's just so like, it's just like it stands up, yeah. And like I said, it was fucking just like blah 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 blah. And I yeah, was like, he's super like not shy. Yeah, yeah, no. And then like then I see like some of the old guys, and I'm like, really, bro? You bragging about banging bitches? And I'm just like, mm, mm. <laughs> it looks like they come with some cheese. Watch your shit, guys. Yeah. Legit, if you know, like if some girls are If you've been sitting though, in a car for more than thirty minutes, yeah, yeah. wash your fucking foreskin. Yeah. No, there's some girls that are down for the smell though. Like when they take off the underwear after a match, they love the smell of sweaty cock. Sweaty cock is not the same as foreskin. No, I know, but I'm just saying. No, but I'm saying I'm talking about. And it smells. But bad. that's the start of it, though. Like, I know. That's the start of it. Yeah, so, I know. You know. Well, if you come home from a run and. Your dick is sweaty, that's mm-hmm. one thing, but if you pull back your fucking foreskin and there's actual fucking bacteria, Jeez. you need to wipe that shit off. Yeah, no, you gotta clean if your shit. belly button smells like your foreskin, you, you, you have an issue. And what's worse for you, belly button or feet? But I haven't had a bad foreskin issue in a long time. Huh? What's worse, belly button or feet? Oh, I don't mind bad feet because oh, that's, feet. belly button's pretty gross. I really hate feet. I'm See, not, I don't mind feet. I'm not big into feet at all. Like, I used to I try. really hate and then I started to like put them in my mouth for videos and stuff, mm-hmm. and it just got me over it. No, I just you know? can't. Like, oh, do you have any like naughty fan stories? Like, do fans like send you like titty pictures and stuff, or like what's or even like one story that pops out in your head, or like creepy, anything good? I have a few creep fans, but for the most part, because I'm cool, like I try not to put them down or anything like that. So you're like mm-hmm. me. Like, uh, I don't I want to shame them for being no, like no, a fan no, because they took a chance to hit me up. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not gonna be a dick and be like, "Oh, fuck you." I know that. So no one's ever, but no one's ever been super weird where you did have to intervene and be like, "All right, you're crossing the line now." And no, I'm, not, I'm not that hot. I'm I'm just a cute teddy bear. So like, so they you get sweetie girls. I get sweetie girls. Yeah. Aww. But like, there's some girls that like. I remember there's this one girl. She legit would hit me up all the time. Hey, what's up? And I would, hey, how you doing? And she kept on and on. And then one day she sent me a tit fix. And I was just like, okay, well, you know, I mean, thank you. I'm, you know, honored that you sent, felt like sharing that with me. You know what I mean? So but, sweet. <laughs> and I was like, and I actually dropped the, well, you know, I have a girlfriend. And, uh, but if I'm single, then maybe, you know, we can hook up someday. And um, that was the last I heard of her. Like, she stopped coming to shows and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was very, like, I, she really wanted to, but I tried my hardest not to break her heart. Mm-hmm. But she was definitely not something that I was touching. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, Yikes. I'm yeah. sorry. You know, like, even I have my standards, you know, which are very fucking low. But, <laughs> you know, but like, I, I always try to be cool with everybody because you never know who you're talking to. I, I'm cool with people until they cross that line, you know, if they keep putting, like, today mm-hmm. somebody was like, uh, can I take you out sometime? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I'm in a relationship. And specific, like, typically, if I might be semi-interested, I might not drop that. I might be like, I'm in an open relationship. Mm-hmm. I would have to talk to my partner. But, yeah. I mean, normally I'm not really interested. So, mm-hmm. But, like, you know, I immediately wasn't interested, so I just dropped it. And mm-hmm. then they were like, oh, well, are you happy in your relationship? Because <laughs> I know a lot of women that aren't happy in their relationship. And I was just like, oh, my <laughs> bloody. Uh, like, are you fucking stupid? I was like, and then he said something about, I was like, I was like, just the fuck off basically but like yeah. I, I still was like nice yeah, I was yeah. like hey I I said no I respectfully just declined will you respect that like mm-hmm. I still couldn't be mean yeah. you know it takes a lot for me to actually be mean to somebody yeah me too because like I said you never know plus in today's age all it takes a simple button press and you've captured that and mm-hmm. you could put it on any context that Steve said this mm-hmm. he's being a dick to me and I'm and that's not me you know yeah. what I mean so like I always worry about that um I do get in trouble because I flirt a lot, mm-hmm. um, but I always try to tell her, I'm like, look, you know, um, if I'm not going to their house, you're not wrong with the fucking 
send them pictures. It's just like going to the strip club or anything. It's safer because mm-hmm. you don't know what you're catching at a strip club. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if that's know. if that's how you like fulfill that, what would be mm-hmm. a need to go elsewhere? Then I, I see there not being really not much wrong with it. I mean, yeah, as long as it's not in like her bubble of friends. But oh, that's man, I, that's my opinion. You gotta stay away from the friends. Your relationship yeah. is your own shit. Yeah, that's no. my opinion. Obviously. You gotta stay away from the friends. Yeah. Although, like, I also because you know I'm very like with how I think about things when it comes to like so let's say you're going out with uh, my friend right with let's say homicide you're going on homicide mm-hmm. and then you and homicide break up hey homicide what up dude uh, and then <laughs> um, <laughs> then you guys break up if me and you start talking there shouldn't be a problem you know what I'm saying well like let's say me, a better way to put it would be me and you are going out we stop going out you and homicide start going out mm-hmm. I'm not going to be mad at homicide because what if we weren't meant to be, but you and homicide were meant That's to be? That's how you feel with actual close friends. Yeah. You should teach a lesson or two to some people out there that don't even know the people that they're mad about. But, you know, like, <laughs> it's hard because a lot of people are very bro code, girl code. And I'm just like, but if it wasn't meant to be, we wouldn't be fighting all the time. We wouldn't have broken up. Right. If it was meant to be, we would have stayed together. Right. We would have been cool to where we were like, you know what, if you want to fuck somebody else, let's fuck somebody else. If you, I want to fuck somebody else. You know what I mean? But if it got to the point where we broke up, then we weren't meant to be. Maybe you and him were supposed to be. Right. You know, we're meant yeah. to be. Why, I always why, think like that. Why get in the way of that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I try I, not to get in the way of that yeah. kind of stuff. And I, I, you know what's funny? I've actually told my wife. I said, if, for, and I've used homicide as the example. <laughs> Poor D, you're always getting used, bro. <laughs> but like, I said it like, if me and you get divorced and you want to get with, the only exception is key because we like brothers you know what I mean mm-hmm. um and that would just be too weird yeah there's always but, that like one or two yeah and he's the only one he's the only because we're so close but I know that wouldn't happen but with homicide like if let's say she wanted to go with homicide I'd be like go ahead because you might be what he needs in his life mm-hmm. he might be what you need you know and what as mean? a friend to both exactly why exactly is, you know what I mean because I yeah. I'm pretty much cool with all my exes mm-hmm. um like I've given a lot of them advice about guys, advice about sex, advice about anything, life, and I expect that would probably be the same with my wife if anything were to happen when we do break up. Um, so, you know, I, I'm always like, I want everybody to be happy. I don't give a fuck. And if it's, that's what's supposed to happen, that's what's supposed to happen. You're such a nice guy, though. You're also chill as fuck. Yeah, you I are. Try. You're a nice guy. Shut up. You're nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like compliments about me because I feel like I'm such a dick. All right, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you're a big fucking cocksucker. Uh, big old hairy cocksucker. Um, two quick questions. Yeah. One is, what do you think is the most sexual wrestling move, uh, specifically that you do, and then maybe we can show a clip of it. Sure. Um. So for me, uh, giving, it would have to be <laughs> giving. <laughs> I do. I like that you're specifying giving versus giving. receiving. Yes. Yeah, because there's some that are there's taking a difference. Like, yeah, 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 but uh, <laughs> giving. Um, I do a combination. Uh, it's a shout out to two of my idols, uh, Rikishi and Yokozuna. Mm-hmm. And what it is normally, the one guy goes for a sunset flip. He's holding me. His tag partner hits the ropes in front, grabs. Him, I grab him and I sit down on his partner while I drive his head into his partner's chest. And there's so much going on between me sitting on his chest, my cock hitting his face, my cock hitting his partner's face, his cock hitting my shoulder. There's so much shit going on. There's a be, lot of dogs. There's a lot of dick touching. I like that. And like, you don't really think about it at first. You're just like, that's a fucking cool move. Yeah. But the more I see it, the more I'm like, yo, my dick was all There was it, all bro. dicks everywhere. Yeah. Cock in Well, face. luckily you wear an outfit that's not very, like, yeah, dick Yeah, I have pants. I have pants. Yeah. I used to wear a singlet. Can we get a photo of that? Yeah, yeah. I actually look cute. Like, my ass, kill my ass photo. looks sexy. Hell yeah. I used to get complimented a lot because it was like they weren't expecting it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that so much when somebody's I, not expecting something. Yeah. I never Especially forget one time. Ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I never forget like one time, uh, the first time I wore a singlet, I was very like nervous because, you know, oh shit, big guy wearing a singlet. So <laughs> I pulled all my shit to the front. Everything. I was. And so, like, my shit just looked fucking monstrous, right? So, uh, there's a referee. You ever heard Monster of Rev Hansen? Man. Yeah, exactly. I you ever heard it. of Rev Hansen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Rev Hansen's doing the checking. Oh, and no. while he's bent down, I said, oh, Hansen, no. how big does my cock look right now? He's like, Jesus, fucking huge. And I was like, yeah. Oh, 
That's awesome. why you go boost. <laughs> so good. I need a singlet. I want my cock to look huge. I'm saying, what just the fuck? pull everything to the front. That's secret. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think, wait, wait. Oh, have you ever had sex in a wrestling ring? I have. Uh, well, we just trained at the doghouse. Wait, so you, wait, yeah? Like, I like how you, I have. I have. Like, during a match? or like? No, 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 Okay. No, no, no. All right. we, we, so we, we all, when we had the doghouse school, we all used to stay overnight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, and uh, there was a girl that I was seeing. And she was training. And um, so we're having, there used to be three rings. There was like a ring that had no ropes. It was just for bumping. And then two uh, rings were right next to each other, like war game style. Mm -hmm. And that was where everybody ran spots or whatever. And then, like I said, the little one was just for starters. So we were sleeping in the starter ring. And uh, the funny shit was, Homicide and Lathan were in the office, and they heard her moaning, and then all of a sudden they start playing Triple H's music, <laughs> and they're like, and they got on the mic, and they're like, hey Steve, <laughs> it's the game, and then fucking next thing I know, so they're playing good. Mark Henry's Sexual Chocolate, oh, fuck it was yes. fucking great, it was That's beautiful, yeah, and we all have that memory now. That's a beautiful memory, I'm thinking, thank you so much for sharing that memory, I feel like I'm a part of it now. Uh, it was, it was kind of cool, the doghouse was an awesome place though. There was a lot of crazy shit. There was one time, there used to be these stairs that went up to the locker room. And uh, it was like, maybe like maybe five of us were there. And uh, we didn't know that there was this one girl. Her name, what's her name? Maybe don't say her name. No, no, but it, it was non-sexual, non-sexual. Oh, okay. But like, <laughs> me, poor girl. Me, it was like me, Homicide, Louis, Lathan. I want to say Key was there, maybe Ma. And... We're all chilling at the bottom of the stairs, but like off to the side, there's a curtain you couldn't see. And then all of a sudden, we hear. And we're like, what the fuck? And we looked, and one of the students fell from the top the all the way down this step. It was some Fred Flintstone shit. We were just like, yo, what the fuck is that? Did they like die? No, she, she was fine. fine. She just. She just bounced yeah. down. Yeah, like a slinky. She fucking every Holy single shit. step. And then at the bottom, oh, that's all you heard from her. And we were just like, yo, this bitch is dead! <laughs> that's, a that's a terrible story. Uh, it was I great, though. It. But, like, that's no, one of my cool. favorite memories. Just... And there was another time, Louis, the stair broke. And he was in the step. And all you saw was his feet dangling. He was like, ah! ah! <laughs> How the fuck did you get him out? Did he have to go through? Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. That is so scary. Yeah. Oh my god, that's like my biggest fear is going through a stair. I'd uh, have a Louie. I'm not gonna have a Louie. I mean, a lot of crazy shit I happens to Louie. Alright, so that's the end of all of my wrestling related questions. <laughs> I don't, I fuck everything. Um, next, we're gonna do a quick segment, which is a new segment called Felicia Fingers You Out. <laughs> AKA, I'm going to guess a bunch of answers to questions that I don't actually know the answers to. I think I might know the answers to maybe a few, hopefully. <laughs> and um, what we're going to do is, if you're down, hopefully you're down. If I get it right, if you could put these lovely little nipple clamps on your nipples, every time I get it right, get an answer right, we're going to tighten these little babies up. Nice and tight. Oh, that's loosening up. Nice and tight. <laughs> So like you know, we'll go a few notches each time. Yeah. If you're down, and if you mean, do it over your shirt, you could yeah, do you could over my shirt. Under your I'm shirt. I'm kind of like sweating because the lighting is. I'm fat and you know what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm dying. Well, you're but, next to me. Why wouldn't you be sweating? Yeah, I am right next to you. Yeah. No, like, that is a good visual right there. My, my nipples this. are always hard. Like at work, they that's call me awesome. nipples because they're always hard. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with me. <laughs> no, that's great. <laughs> that they're always hard like that. Do you get sensation from your nipples? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm My nipples about, are often hard, and like, I get a lot of sensation. If, if I'm getting work down there, and I want some mouth action. I'm yeah. Like, and I'm like, oh. yeah, or just anything. You could, well, you could flick a fucking whatever at me. No, I mean, it, but like it, it works with that scenario. You know. What I mean? Oh, I like, see. Yeah. Like, no, me too. Anytime I'm masturbating, I'm playing with my nipples. Like I have to. I never did it well. Interesting. Well, you no. should. You should do it. Oh, I don't yeah. add it until the end. Like just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, no, that's what carries it over the top. That's yeah, when I'm course. going down on a girl. That's how I know that she's getting closer, when she starts fucking playing, squeezing and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, yep, she's getting ready. I like how you did this. Like, that is the ugliest visual for playing with your nipples ever. <laughs> it's like tapping. And she's Nipple like, tapping. Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Awesome. Wonderful. All right, 
so I'm gonna open these little fuckers up, and yeah. you can tighten them as you need to to okay. put them on. You don't have to put them on yet, I guess, yeah. but... I mean, with the visuals, probably. I mean, I kind of need you to, because it'd be hilarious. I don't like to waste paper, so I'm using scrap paper to do this. Yeah, you probably have to tighten it for it to fit. It's going to be a tight fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel okay, like this is tighten them into, like, it's just going to fucking kill you. You might die. No, I don't know. I'm having a hard time finding my nipple right now. Heck yeah. There it is. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm down for a lot of fun things because, you know, if you can't have fun in life. Yeah, if you can't. Oh, so for my part, if um, if I don't get it right, we have our lovely producer who has an app attached to a vibrator that is inside of my pantaloons, and he's going to turn up pantaloons, the notch. Spanish pantaloons. Every time I get one wrong, so I'll probably come before the end of this episode, and I'm gonna cool. try to not sell it. I'm gonna I try mean, to do a no sell on this. Style, bitch. Come yeah. On. I mean, I, I can do a good no sell because there's often times when I do come and I don't want the person to know, you know. Yeah. So no, I listen. To that. I'm like, I totally get it. No, nope, didn't I, come yet. I'm a guy. I'm fucking always trying to fake it. I didn't know yet. No, that's not. <laughs> no, but usually shit. people are faking that they did come. Yeah. I I'm faking that I didn't. You no, know. What I'm saying though, for me though, like, you don't want to be the guy that came early. You're supposed to be fucking this stud. You're an athlete. And you're fucking famous. Sometimes the pussy feels too good. I don't know. Like, I think it's a compliment oh. to the chef when you're when you come quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, That's in my true. opinion, at yeah. least. Not always, but sometimes. Here, <laughs> which one do you want? I don't care. The thicker or the thinner one? Do you want to get like really high or a little high? Really high. You want to get really high? Yeah. All right. Well, about the earth. All right. Well, don't show me your answer. So maybe yeah. like I'll yeah. separate a tiny bit from you here. All right. All right, and then our producer off camera also has the list of questions. So whenever they're ready. So they're going to say a question, and I have to write it down, and then you have to write it down, and then at the end, whenever we're both done, we could, we'll hold it up, and we'll go from there. Cool. And I'm, down. I'm probably going to orgasm soon, so let's get ready to run. It'll be a first for me too, folks, I promise. <laughs> Are we good to go? Yep. All right, cool. All right, so you want the first question? Yes, please. All right, first question is, it just says shoe size. I have to guess your shoe size. <laughs> You might Can not I get look it. at you? Oh, fuck. I don't even know dude's shoe sizes either. I don't even know if this is a shoe size. Right, so this is my answer. What'd you put? Ten and a half. <laughs> what? You know what the real size is? What? Fourteen. Oh, gee. Damn. <laughs> Alright, give me one of them buzzies. Right, one, oh, one, boy. La, 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 la. <laughs> How's that feeling right now? Great. Yeah. Is that the low buzz or is it? There's. The... It feels like not much. All right. Well, yeah. No. It goes. It's a very like a. No. There's no one. No oscillation. You think he's yet or whatever. Second question is favorite male porn star. Oh fuck! I think I might know this. Unless you're not like your friends. <laughs> I hope I know this, otherwise this game's gonna be over real quick. Who'd you put? You have to show it. Wait, hold up. Bong. Oh, that's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why he I comes put up, that? He comes I up know. all the time. This is a shout out to your friends, really. It I really thought maybe is. it would be your answer, though. No, I'm old school. All right, old school. turn me up. Can you say the name? Sir? Manuel Ferrara. And I got Peter North. His answer's Peter North, but everybody knows Manuel. what I'm talking about out oh, there. Please. All right. Next question. Age, you lost your virginity. This might be easy to figure out. Okay, um... Okay, my answer is 15. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Yes, guys always lose it at 15. You know, I would have lost it sooner, but um, the girl that I was talking to was afraid. So, yes. I feel like you should put a second one on, too. I, I will try. <laughs> it doesn't want to stay, because I have small nipples. Well, right, so, so you're going to get, like, like, the areola in there, too. That's what I'm you're trying to get the do, whole, yeah. there you go. Yeah, just, there you go. I was just gonna do the one. Are you cool? No, with the one? one is fine. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want. All right. 
This is this is awesome. I love <laughs> this is my favorite thing I've ever done on this show, by the way. And I'm sweating, by the way, for the record, if anybody well wants to know. Current wrestling crush. In WWE. Okay, that makes it easier. I know, I was going to say, uh, we just named like 30 girls. You're like, okay, so I'm just guessing because of what we just talked um, about. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to remember like, I'm sorry. I'm pretty bad. Ready? Yeah, that was way longer than... Oh hell yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. Natalia is obviously better. Would you put Nia uh, not Jax? better. Natalia is obviously listen, a different answer than Nia Jax, but I feel like both are hot. You yeah. know, Natalia looks like she's got a very creamy vagina. Yeah, she's real little too. You can like roll her oh, up into. Not really little. She's thick. No, no, no. I mean but short. Oh, she's yeah, thick yeah, and yeah. I like oh, thick yeah, and yeah. short level too. Five. Yeah. But Nia Jax. All right, I'm at level gets, five. Uh, how's I that? How's I'm that? Dying right now. Don't say creamy anything right now. Um. Favorite sex position. Um, okay, I know this. I have to know this. This is everybody's favorite sex position. Doggy. Her on top. Oh man. You know what it, it's the visuals. <laughs> it's the visuals. I wasn't paying attention during this interview level at all. Six. <laughs> Thank you for How's level you feeling six. Now? You're right. Thank you, you level six. <laughs> level six. I feel like it's Ghostbusters when they're climbing up the stairs. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Answer. I need questions. Give me How questions. How many people have you slept with? A, oh, under shit. 25. B, 25 to 50. C, 50 to 100. D, I have no idea. Wait, what? Well, can you repeat it just one a, more time? A, under 25. Uh-huh. B, 25 to 50. C, 50 to 100. D, I don't know. Um... <laughs> what you got? I did B, 25 to 50. Oh, that's right. Yeah, long-term relationships, to, like, they that's they get a good chunk of you there. All right, so now, All right, before so we get to the next question, yeah. you're at level seven. <laughs> Can you describe <laughs> what? what's going on? I'm wet. Is it like, uh, are we going to have to fucking fumigate the couches? <laughs> I'm wearing enough layers because I was prepared. Okay. So I'm wearing enough layers that it depends on how long this lasts. Let's go for the next question. <laughs> how many more questions do we have? I think it's 12 altogether. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't even know if it goes up to 12, though. But the duration yeah, that's, is killing me, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. Have you ever watched gay porn? What'd you put? I put yes. Yeah. Ah, sweet. <laughs> Did you like? But it, it was no. You know what happened? Somebody had you know gave. Someone had gave. Look, I'm turning it twice. One, two. Okay. Some. Oh, oh what a rip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone had. I've turned it the other way. The oh, other way, wrong way. way. Whoopsie. Uh, someone had gay porn at the doghouse. Uh huh. And homicide discovered it. Uh huh. And homicide was like, bro, you're not gonna believe. You got to come to the school now. And I was like, okay. And he put it on as soon as we walked in. You had in. to go in to watch a game for it. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, you're not going to believe. And we were just like. Favorite fetish. Dude, this is crazy because I like a lot of things. What's like the, like, if you could have anything right now kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Domination. Face sitting. <laughs> that's not a fetish. That's just a normal sex act. No, no. Because a lot of people don't like it. And a lot of girls don't like Fair it. Fair enough. Everything's a fetish. If you think but, about yeah, it. of it's course. Fine. Well, you still got it wrong. Level seven. Uh, <laughs> no, I... Yep. Yeah, yeah, seven is fine. I don't have a paper left. Yeah, I was just going to say, I only have uh, a couple pieces left. So. Uh, fetish you would never, ever try. That's pretty funny. Um, I was just working my shit out. <laughs> These lights Ready? are killing me, yeah. Poop! Feet. We just talked about feet before. I know, but poop! <laughs> that was my guess too. Poop! poop. Uh, so, like you'd right. rather poop over so feet. So look, look, look. What's the glass table shit? 
You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I probably could sit through that where it's not touching me. I'm underneath. Okay, I could enough. sit through that. You could watch a girl take a dump as rather opposed than to, like, touching me with toe. her feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did it just increase? I almost hear it. Uh, fetish. Uh, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Would you ever, have you ever had a threesome? Duh. Yeah. My answer's duh. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's right. Right, yeah. So. Okay. Make sure you tighten it. <laughs> last, last question. Have okay. you ever been a part of a gang bang? Ooh. Gang bang because of your, bang, who your Steve. friends are? I'm saying yes. That was a no. You wrote a no. no but I've watched. That's, that's being a part. Being a part. That's being a so, part of it. <laughs> but I, I have my clothes on and nobody. You tighten that nipple, Chris. <laughs> I can't do this anymore, guys. I'm gonna die. <laughs> all right, guys. So, all right. Before we finish. Yeah. How close are you to finishing? I did already twice. Did you? So twice. Wow. Four that's... times. It's three times. Four I times. wish I was that cool. But I don't know. It's all. Fair. All I want to say is. Thank you to Steve for coming on. We're going to have you on more than once because you are a delight and you have Thank so you. many stories to tell. It's and nice. now you're stuck with a nipple clamp on. And so Jeez. thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for having me. I and it, is there anything you want to, uh, you know, advertise, shout out, talk about some shows or online anything? Or are you um, good? The only thing I do is promote myself. Uh, yeah, promote yourself. What's your shit? On Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, Steve Mac, DHS, D like David H. S, the hit squad. Oh shit! The shit squad. Oh, uh, don't talk kidding. about authors of pain that kidding. way. I'm just kidding. Jesus. Don't come beat me up, please. No, nah, um, but yeah, uh, see Mac DHS. Um, hit me up. I'm pretty cool. I talk to everybody. I don't tell everyone no. Go away, fucking creep. <laughs> um, that's. I mean, pretty much like there's a whole bunch of stuff that my boys are doing and. You know, Homicide's got his thing with uh, uh, the compound and, like, LAX is touring the world as part of fucking Impact Wrestling. And I got my boy Samoa Joe just came back to TV. I'm very happy about that. Yes. AJ Styles is fucking doing Yeah, congrats doing to all time. those Bandito people. Jr. All my guys that yeah. we go back, thank you and congratulations on your success. And I can't wait for us to sit back and have a beer and talk about all the shit you guys have done. Bitch, Liza, Liza. I get, I get... <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> All right, I have to do the intro thing again. Yeah.